Hi there, I want to show you today how to put in those little bumps on the bottom of the teeth just to really get the shape of the teeth correct using this 16 by 20 acrylic portrait I'm working on. Let's zoom on in. Alright, so here's where we're at in the process just again trying to emulate this reference photo and on the bottom of the teeth are these little bumps that just show the separation between the teeth and the gums and I want to show you how to paint that. So we're going to start with uh, matching the lip color and then just make it a little darker. I like to use um, pyro orange or organic orange as it's sometimes called. It's just kind of a nice cad red light color without the toxicity of the paint. And we add some alizarin crimson and maybe just a little raw umber dark. And you can use raw umber as well, but raw umber dark is a really strong pigment that I get from Nova Color. That's where I buy all my paints, uh, manufactured out of Culver City, California. They ship direct to the artist, and uh, really good paints. I've been using them for over 20 years. I don't get a commission off of uh, mentioning Nova Color, but uh, I just thought you'd like to know what I use. Okay, so I'm going to add. going to add these little points. So what we want to do is get a color that, like I say, a little darker than the lips. Oh, let me show you this on the white card. This is what it looks like on the white card. See that? It's just a really nice reddish hue. It's rich because it has those colors mixed together. And again, we're just going to pop that in right in between the teeth and just pull up, pull up and we're isolating the shape then of the bottom of the mouth. And that's important because if you don't do that, it makes a person's teeth look like they're really long, like they continue past the lip. And in order to portray that likeness, you've got to get those teeth correct. And this is a subtle little shape and every portrait will be different. So you got to base it on your reference photo that you're working from. But I just want you to be aware of what you should look for. Now, I'm going to take some raw or dark here and so that's going to be a, a really dark color, ultramarine blue, and a bit of alizarin crimson. So now we get a color that's even darker than this first one. It looks like this. Okay, so you can see the difference. And what we're going to do then is we're going to put that in right underneath, right underneath this third tooth. Actually, no, we'll put it in starting right here on the last tooth and then the next tooth over. A little bit of a gap. A little bit of a gap right there. See that? But again, that's so important in conveying the overall smile, which contributes to the likeness. And that's what we're going for with our portraits, right? Is to capture the likeness of the subject that uh, will keep the client happy. Or if you're doing this portrait as a gift or just for yourself, it'll keep your loved ones happy because they'll look at it on the wall. They'll just love it. It'll remind them of, of that grandchild you're painting or you'll be reminded of that grandchild you're painting. And uh, yeah, so these, these nuances are super important for that. Now let's uh, just add a bit of a nuance. I'm going to take some uh, raw or dark, a little bit of titanium white. We mix them together and then we're just going to come up against that edge and just give it a little bit of a nuance so it's not too harsh of an edge. And I find that can help too, just to, just to soften those nuances a bit. Okay, so I like that. That really made a difference, I think, in the overall look of the teeth. Um, so if you found this helpful too, I'd encourage you to give this video a thumbs up and you can subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Um, yeah, check out realisticacrylic.com. I have several tutorials there. I've got uh, free downloadable guides, classes you can take. Check that out. And I'd love to help you become better at portrait painting. So that's my goal, to help you paint a portrait you can be proud of. But again, if you like this video, you know what to do. Subscribe, like it, share it with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you again. God bless. Have a good rest of your day.